and thanks for joining us for another Executive Spotlight at Pipeline. I'm here with Mobin Khan from AT&T, uh, EVP of IoT Products. And we're talking about an important topic as it relates to the evolution of telecom services, and in particular IoT. Things are getting smarter today. Uh, networks are getting smarter. Uh, devices are getting smarter, and even consumers are getting smarter. Mobin, welcome. I'd like to uh, ask you about how uh, AT&T is helping address uh, today's current IoT needs and where you see the growth being today. Scott, thanks for having me here. Um, uh, AT&T is leading the way, as you said, in IoT solutions. Uh, today we have uh, uh, over 43 million devices connected uh, that are considered IoT devices. And that ranges from everything from cars, trucks, trailers, cargo, uh, machines, construction equipment, you name it. Uh, one category I wanted to talk uh, about is around uh, tracking things. Uh, this is a category that's exploding. There are a lot of use cases around it, and we've made some recent announcements around it. Uh, so specifically, I want to talk about uh, three specific uh, use cases and devices that we launched uh, recently. Uh, one is a, uh, a, a enterprise asset tracker. So think about construction equipment, tools, uh, cargo you're shipping, pharmaceuticals, uh, and you need to track them, figure out where they are, did they leave the warehouse, did they uh, arrive at the, the, the location on time, and you may even have certain um, elements around, uh, did somebody drop it on the way? Was the temperature the right temperature? That you all, you want to tra track as part of uh, th that journey that this asset is taking. So we launched an, a, an asset tracker solution that comes with the hardware. It's about a, a, a couple of deck of cards. Uh, it has a harness or it has screws you can put into any asset. There are many ways to mount it. Comes with a piece of software. You can track things as they're moving live. Um, uh, and it's priced at eight bucks a month uh, with a $50 device or 10 bucks a month uh, with the $0 uh, for the device up front. So you can track anything you want in your enterprise application. And it's more than just the device and the connectivity too, but there's applications that you could run on that Absolutely. Well. I mean, customers are looking for package solutions in, in IoT. And, and so this is one of those areas where we are providing the device, the network connectivity, the application, uh, and the services around it. You come to AT&T and we sell all of that. Same kind of a solution is now available on the consumer side. So we just launched uh, uh, with Samsung uh, Smart Things Tracker. It's about uh, you know two, uh, inch and a half by inch and a half square uh, tile uh, that uh, is LTE M enabled. So this is where uh, our uh, network investments in LTE M and narrowband IoT technologies are coming into play. So this thing is now available to track anything on your personal life. So think about you, uh, uh, a large purse a bag you know while you're traveling uh, even kids, the kids pets. exactly <laughs> kids pets right. um, and it, it's it's priced at uh, 99 dollars for one year of service and five dollars a month thereafter and you can buy it at any of our retail locations starting um, Friday um, so so again a personal tracker for your personal things and an enterprise and and uh, uh, business uh, asset tracker um, uh, on the other side. So again, this is a, great, a really large category. There's a, a, another area which is uh, somewhat similar, which is how do I get service around an asset, which is also uh, uh, another big use case for us. So think about uh, a machine that is deployed at a construction site and somebody needs to come in and, and uh, uh, change a part or uh, you need to fill inventory in a warehouse. So we deployed a, a something called an um, AT&T button. It's, it's literally that. It's, it's a device with a little button on it. And you program it to do what you need it to do. So when you press the button or somebody presses the button, it activates a workflow. It either dispatches somebody, sends them a text, email, uh, a CRM software uh, event that says, X has happened, go fix it. Or I need service and, and go deliver it now. So it's a way for you to dispatch somebody for service and around any of your assets. So these are a couple of examples of use cases that are becoming very prominent and we have recently launched. Yeah, it's interesting because there's a couple of different aspects to that, right? One is uh, it's not just about devices becoming smarter, 
and connected devices, smart home and things like that. But it's about the, the uh, application of IoT to uh, things that aren't smart, things like uh, yes. uh, containers or yep. uh, things that are being shipped or even household items. It's, it sounds like that's where you're, you're really focusing right now. That's correct. I mean, you can connect, for example, an air conditioning unit you know, in a, in a uh, setting like this. You can either connect that air conditioning unit with the device that we we're talking about, and it, it can report a failure or it can uh, report uh, certain elements uh, around that machine. Or you can put a little button on it, and if it's not working or something needs servicing, the, 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 the person around that area that's taking care of the facilities manager can just press the button, and it dispatches somebody to say, hey, this this HVAC system is not working, they can come and fix it. It's the easy button, right? It's the easy button. Just hit it That's and right. the workflow happens. That's correct. And how configurable is that? I mean, is it fully you custom? Go on, yeah, workflow? it's all cloud enabled. You go onto the site, you, you program it. Uh, you know, it's not like you have to write big software, you just program the event. Anybody with the very light technical skill is able to program and, and start to use it. Thanks, Mobin. Sounds like you're making some great things possible at AT&T. And thanks to all of you for joining us today. I'll see you next time.